On today's episode, we are talking fall Amazon finds. I've got 10 of them. I'm so excited to share them with you. So let's get started right with our first find. And this was actually the find that got me kind of in the mood for thinking about fall and the fall season. I saw these and I thought they were so cute. They are some maple leaf salad tongs. They're wood, they're carved. They are so beautiful. And they also come along with this little matching fork. You could use this for serving as well. But the, the matching salad tongs, I just thought would look so beautiful at your fall gatherings for a beautiful fall salad. It just adds so much personality. They're very well made, very beautiful. I feel like the price is really, really well. And I will be linking all of these in the description box below. I will number them from one to 10 so that you know which one is which I'm not going to do prices this time just because prices fluctuate. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more. Just hit the link and it will give you all the information you want about them. But I just love them. I feel like they are like a must have at any fall gathering or even your own like family get togethers just to give you that fall feeling. I know that it's not quite fall yet, but we're close. <laughs> so we might as well get prepared for it. Now, I don't know if you noticed this really cute little setup here. I absolutely am loving this setup so much. I made a lot of this stuff on my last episode, so if you haven't seen that, you're definitely going to want to check it out. But we did make everything we made this we made this we made the paper bats and i just wanted to share with you a couple of amazon finds that i found that were similar so if you didn't want to make them and you just wanted to grab something quick and pretty affordable then these are your answer so i made these candy corns right here but i found a set right here on amazon now they're not as big as this one, but they're so cute as well. And they were really affordably priced. And so if you didn't want to make your own, you could get a slightly smaller set that's super, super cute. And I'm going to link that in the description below. They're wood. I love the shape of them. The coloring is all really nice and could have easily worked in my little display here. So yeah, that's a good substitute. If you didn't want to make them, you could just easily buy them. Next up are the paper bats. Now I made these ones on my Cricut machine in that episode, but I found this alternative on Amazon for a really great price too. So again, if you don't have a Cricut machine and you didn't want to cut them out by hand, cause I did have a cut out by hand option for you, you could easily order these ones off of Amazon. There's a few extra in there, varying sizes a little bit more expensive, but not much. Still very, very affordable, but convenient, right? <laughs> convenient sometimes is nice. Okay, so here's my paper bat and then the ones from Amazon. Super cute. And so I just thought, well, why don't I just include that into this episode as well? So it's a super, super good find and making your holiday decorating a little bit easier. Before moving on to something else, I do want to hit my last item on this display, and that is these beautiful autumn leaves. It comes with that amount in the one that I found on Amazon, and they are just gorgeous. In fact, they are so pretty, I think I'm gonna order more of them just because I really like how they lay. They look very real, even though they're not, and they don't make a mess like the real ones. And <laughs> They're just super, super pretty. So I know some of you are probably like, well, where did you get the cat that was in the episode so if you want to learn more about that you're gonna to have to check it out I think it's such a fun display and as a little side note if you didn't see that episode yet this is actually a donut holder so you slide a whole bunch of donuts on that isn't that such a cute like display setup these fall leaves really kind of pull the whole look together add that little orange add that fall feeling and they're super super pretty so I really recommend these ones While we're trying to get in the fall mood and the fall spirit, especially for those of us who don't live close to fall and we might need to up the ante just a little bit, I want to talk about one of my favorite candle scents of all time, and that is Yankee's Home Sweet Home. It really does embody its name, Home Sweet Home. It's such a homey vibe. 
It smells like all of the fall spices, so good. And it's just a really good fall in a jar type candle. So this is my favorite fall candle. Now you'll notice I lit my candle with a regular lighter. And if you've watched any of these Amazon episodes before, you know that I ha like my rechargeable one. Well, it grew legs and walked off. And so I had to make do with that one, but I'm gonna link that rechargeable lighter just as like a, a B. It's not one of the official ones, but I'll link it under there because it is so nice because you can just recharge it and you're never gonna run out of light. I really recommend that too, but that's just a little side note. We should actually, why don't we have that going right here? Let's move the candle over and have it giving some ambience. I feel like it could work really well on our display. <laughs> Much better, right? It works here, right? <laughs> many of you know, but many of you don't know that I have been live streaming over on Amazon. Now, this is a, kind of a newer thing that they are doing over on Amazon where I get on a live stream, I talk about my favorite Amazon finds. The best part for me though is getting to interact with you on a more personal level because I'm live chatting with you. You can ask me questions, make comments, and it's like this really fun dynamic. I I get on there and I talk about all of my favorite products on different topics and it is just so much fun. If this is new to you and you want to check it out, I'll put my Amazon shop link below and if you hit the follow button, it will notify you every time I go live. So if you're interested in all of my favorite products and chatting live with me, I would love to see you over there as well. Okay, our next Amazon find is this retro kind of cocoa making machine. Now, I have been using a cocoa maker for years and years. I used the cocoa motion machine. I can't remember who made it. And I looked on Amazon and it was super <laughs> expensive. Like, I don't know if they stopped manufacturing them and it like upped the price, but they got crazy out of control. Now I know we're not quite to cocoa making weather, but we're gonna get prepared because there's nothing better than cocoa on a cool day. It's just like almost a comfort food, right? <laughs> Even though it's a drink. So I found this new one, this retro looking one that is essentially the same thing and even has a cuter vibe to it because it's got this retro feel to it. So I bought that and it works just as good. What's really cool about this is it heats up your cocoa for you. You can put all the ingredients in, go off, do your thing, and it will mix it, make it nice and frothy, and then also heat it at the same time to the perfect drinking temperature. And so all you have to do is put in the water or the milk, whatever you wanna use. I use water with the mix I'm gonna share with you in just a second, and just let it get nice and frothy and warm, and then all you have to do is just dispense it, and it's perfect, and then as a little side note, I'm just gonna include my favorite hot cocoa because you can't find it in the stores everywhere. It is in stores in like Utah, Idaho, Arizona, and even I found it in Maine, but they don't have it here in Florida. Maybe there's not a lot of cocoa drinkers here. I don't know, but <laughs> if you're looking for a really good cocoa mix, anything from the Stevens line is awesome. Our favorite is the candy cane cocoa from Stevens, and it's amazing. So I really recommend this cocoa machine if you wanna make the best cocoa this fall and winter seasons with the Stevens. It's so good. None of this is sponsored, by the way. It's just really good. To me, there is just something very fall about apples. Now we can eat apples all year long. They're really good for you, but there is something that goes hand in hand with apples in fall. So I have been using this apple core slicing peeler for years and years. Now, oh, the DIY dolly does want to say hi. Come here, you. Say hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, so it cuts it, slices it, cores it all at the same time, all while leaving as little waste as possible. So it's awesome. It's really great for making snacks for your kids. It makes that part super fast and easy. It's just a good, good contraption to have around, especially if you like apples or you can apples. It's such a good tool to have in your arsenal. I use it all the time. I absolutely love this. I've been using it for years. Highly recommend it. Can't go wrong. So I hope you like it too. See. Say hi, I'm gonna go play now. I'm gonna go play. 
Now every fall house you need some fall tea towels, right? <laughs> so I found this awesome set in this kind of seafoam blue color, which is kind of my color this year other than this little orange business we've got going on here. But it's got really cute options here. It comes in a set, it has like blues and greens and grays, um, pumpkin, hello pumpkin, and just all kinds of cute designs. I like to have these on hand. These are microfiber, so they'll wipe things up really good and they're easy to wash. And I just really love this set and I think that you will like it too. It's just a nice little way to add a little decor and color into your kitchen, change it out. If you want more traditional fall colors, they have a lot more to choose from as well. So check out Amazon, it's a good place to look. Okay, so for my next couple of items, I'm gonna be super honest with you. These are a little bougie, <laughs> so they might not be for everyone, but they are really, really special, and I really, really love them. So the first one is this beautiful cast iron stove crock. It is so gorgeous, and it has you know, you can see that it's actually like a Dutch oven type and it has this beautiful gold stem. Now, before I kind of show you and tell you what I use it for, I wanted to tell you a little bit of the backstory about this because I actually did not purchase this for myself. And it started about eight years ago. My sister-in-law and I went to a fall get together and I saw this beautiful pumpkin and I'm like, that looks like something out of a fairy tale from the, the beautiful orange coloring to the gold stem. I was smitten and I knew I had to have it. And then things got busy and I just didn't get around to getting it. But that Christmas, my sister-in-law, Jenna, had my name and I had no idea, but I opened up my gift from her and I just started sobbing when I saw it. I like cried and cried and cried because she was just so generous to buy this for me and it is just amazing. Now, having owned it for this long, I would say I would absolutely have bought it for myself. I probably would have bought it for myself anyways, but it is just such a high quality piece of kitchenware. And all year long, I go and I'll peek in my cabinet and look forward to the moment that I can pull this out. And I literally leave it on my stove all fall pushing well into the Christmas season because I just love it so much. I've made soups in it. I've used it on my Thanksgiving table. So I really see this as becoming an heirloom piece in my family. I'm gonna pass it on to my daughter. I mean, it's, it's that quality of piece that it's gonna last. Now, if this is a little bit out of your price range, my next one on the list is the little miniature version of it. It is not cast iron, but ceramic. I use this in connection with it all the time. This was given to me by my mother because she knew just how much I loved this one and so she thought I needed the little one to go with it. But they are such good conversation pieces. They make a good decor on your table and they are really, really quality. And so this little miniature version would be really fun piece to own as well. So if you decide to get these ones, I really know that you will love them just as much as I do. So I can't recommend them enough. They're awesome. Well, those are my top 10 best Amazon finds for fall. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting my, that subscribe button right here. It's super easy to do. And I would love it if you join the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners. I just want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.